So, we've already looked at operating systems and their main functions. In this chapter, we'll look at system software called utilities. These are useful tools usually inbuilt into an operating system that make things better and easier for you to manage. The first utility we'll look at is called defragmentation. You might have heard fragmentation grenade or frag grenade from playing different computer games. It gets the name because it breaks apart when it explodes, causing damage to things around it. So a hard disk can get fragmented because it breaks things up into different pieces. The main purpose of defragmentation is to put these pieces back together again. Files are stored on the hard drive in something called sectors. They're usually grouped together based on similar types. However, when you're using a computer for a long period of time, you will delete and move files. Sometimes you might even compress them. Therefore, lots, lots of different gaps begin to appear on the hard disk. The disk becomes more fragmented as the operating system puts files into smaller pieces to fill up the gaps. As the hard drive becomes more fragmented, the disk access gets slower and slower and it takes longer to find the files. Defragmentation collates all of the data and reshuffles it into groups of similar files. It also puts all the gaps and free space together which prevents future fragmentation. Solid state drives don't get fragmented as they use flash memory with no read or write head. This lovely colourful diagram should make things a lot easier and a lot clearer to understand when looking at defragmentation. If we go through the steps 1 to 4, at step 1 you can just see data saved on a hard drive. Each different colour is a different file. For step 2, when you start to delete files, gaps start to appear on the hard drive, so all of the little white spaces are now gaps because a file has been deleted. For step 3, when you start adding new files or creating new documents, the computer fills in the blank gaps and the file starts getting separated and the whole drive becomes cluttered or fragmented. For step 4, what defragmentation does is it groups all of the files together by similar type and then puts all the free spaces together at the end. This makes the hard drive run much quicker and it's easier to find your files. So we briefly mentioned backup or archiving in tertiary storage. A backup utility does exactly what you would think. Any number of problems can occur to a computer, which you'll see when we cover threats to data in a different chapter. So it's important to have a backup of your files just in case. You should also take a backup of all your mobile phone, data and apps, just in case it gets stolen or broken. Backup should be completed externally on a portable device, optical disks or the cloud. There's two different types of backups that you can do. A full backup is when every single file is backed up from your computer. This takes a lot of time to create and uses a lot of disk space, but it's much, much faster to perform a restore from this backup. An incremental backup is where only new files since you last backed up are kept. An example of this could be iCloud or Google Photos, where your latest pictures are saved as you go along. This is really fast to do at the time and you probably won't even notice it being backed up. However, when you want to do a full restore, it takes much longer as there's many different backups to restore. Another utility that comes with most operating systems is compression software. This is used to make files smaller so that you can both save disk space and transfer it much more quickly over networks. You might have heard of these files, usually called zip files. We'll cover compression more in a later chapter. Encryption software is another thing that is often installed with an operating system. It's used as a type of security because it scrambles the data to stop unwanted access. You need a special key to read the data once it's encrypted. Again. We'll cover encryption much more detail in another chapter. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe. Bye.